Hello Libra, thank you for stopping by. This is Elizabeth. All right, so I hope this week, uh, uh, you know, uh, a good week for you. Today I'm going to look into more message for the, I think it's the third week of uh, September for you. So take in what resonates and leave the rest. I'd like to say thank you to those whom subscribe, like, share and comment on my channel. Uh, that way others can see this message as well and also help my small channel to grow as well too. Alright, so I'm going to use three different decks on this reading. Uh, on cards are shuffled already by the way, but I'm going to shuffle a little bit more and we'll see what the first message for you for this coming week. Alright, so the first message is a queen of Pentacle, the queen of money, queen of financial, the queen of generous and gracious, practical. Okay, so she's very, very focusing on her pentacle, her money, financial. So the message wants to let you know that you should be practical uh, with respect on how you proceed. Okay, and also you have the ability to make anything become beautiful successful and things are working out so you have that magic within you in queen of pentacle so make sure that you you know um, uh, take that into the consideration and perhaps that is your uh, energies perhaps this energy someone around you who support you mentor you and watch over you to make sure that you succeed in your job, your financial, and things flow well for you. So on the second message, you also have Eight of Pentacles here, right? Eight of Pentacles, what do you do? You're focusing on your work, right? So you do more research, you're focusing on your project before you proceeding, before you... Um, you know, going forward with that. Perhaps you are going to increase your um, education, your seminar about your job, your duties, or making sure that you um, succeed well, doing well. Maybe going back to school. Maybe you have the upper hand um, shift with someone that you are um, going to collaborate with. So, you know, your work, you're really focusing on your work. You leave everything behind you, focusing on your craft, on your duty, planting seed, build your empire for your long project. So you can, uh, in the long term, you can pick your fruit of your labor. Let's take a look into the next message. You have Ten of Cups. So now, uh, a happy, successful, in a love life, in your intuition, your feeling and your emotion, uh, your family uh, life's uh, happy ending. Uh, and emotionally fulfilling of life with your family, with your spouse, with your loved ones, friends and family. So you raise your children well. And if this is your energy, congratulations. Perhaps you know someone who have the similar energy like this, that's someone that you can trust. Okay, it could be your parents, your grandparents, or someone close to you, okay? You also have a fire pentacle here. So are you worried about your finance? Are you worried that you've been left out in the cold? Don't ignore the help, okay? So reach out to whoever, other, for your assistance, for your need, for your help for your guidance. So making sure that you um, take a good look 
at your financial, the money, document, what money is coming in, what money is going out. That way, you don't have to be struggling with the financial money or being broke, basically. So make sure this week that you look into your financial situation and making sure that it's not going to happen like this again. Take control of your situation. Okay, so plan, document, you know, uh, plan your budget and live it in your mean. Save your money, basically. All right, so you have a magician. You are the co-creator of your life. Every week, every day. So you have that power of magician. Do you need the money? You need love. Do you need a um, thought, an idea? Or do you need the intuition, ambition, creation? You have it all within you. You just need to go within, within your power, power of magician. And sort it out and manifest. And put it into work. You have a five of cup. Sometime in your life, maybe within next week, you may have a disappointment in love, in your feeling, emotion, or your, even your intuition. Take your time to mourn, um, you know, take care of your wound, take care of your feeling, take care of your hurt. Um, but don't take forever. When something pass, you know, acknowledge the feeling that you have and pick up what you have left, which is two of cup here. Move forward, go on your journey and, and go forward with what you have left. Don't be mourning and um, procrastinate with something that already passed that you cannot bring it back. What you have left is more than you need. It will work. You have a Knight of Wands coming towards you. Of course, you have a message of maybe compassion, passion. You have action. You are driving, driven. You have ambition to certain creativities or uh, creation. So it's asking you to take some action. Perhaps say, hey, you can manifest anything you like. You need to acknowledge your hurt and then and then just move forward. And maybe the action telling you to make sure do some research, think think thoroughly. And you have that help. You have that guidance, like fire of pentacle. You know, don't leave yourself out in the cold. That is not the end of the road. There's a help, there's a guidance that you can um have uh, asking you know whatever that you need asking you know sometimes you ask the universe they send someone who to be your mentor if you ask someone someone may just lend you a hand all you need to do is ask no matter how you ask people just need to know that you need help they're not going to run they cannot read your mind if you need help say so and ask and also at the bottom of the tarot deck you have six of one with the wreath of victory you are a victory you're going to have a victory and within you you can work with other people to create your success your victory your accomplishment okay sometimes it's not take only just you take a group of people to help you to guide you to helping hand, asked, see asked, and work with group, work with other people. And, you know, uh, sometimes some people can do it by themselves. Sometimes some success take the whole army to make things work. All right, so that you're reading on the tarot deck and tarot decks, um, Oracle deck as well. And also, let's see the on the Angel of Abundance. 
that telling you to visualize your abundance in all kind of form. So no matter what's going on, you know, the universe gives you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes the reality, Libra. Okay? So make sure you hone steady vision of that which is beautiful, heart felt helpfulness, be positive and feel with the blessing and that is what you will experience. Visualize every things that happen to you in the abundant form. Even one thing go bad, but in one day there's a lot of things that are accomplished and abundant to you. So you just really have to look at it. You know, sometimes you overlook your abundance. Make sure you visualize in uh, own form of abundance in your life. And everything will become that reality to you. If you manifest something positive, you will get the positive. So that's your reading for this coming week, Libra. Take care.